Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video that's both bookish and non-bookish, more like personal. I wanted to share 20 amazing things that happened to me in 2016. The point is that everyone says that 2016 was such a shitty year and I just want to share more positive things that happened to me because you know it just makes me happy to think about those. The first thing is that I read 96 books. I also reread 8 other books in addition, which makes a total of 104, which is unbelievable. My original goal was to read 60 books, so I was really impressed in the end when I saw that I read all of those books. The second thing I wanted to mention is the fact that I moved to Berlin, which is pretty incredible. Um, it was one of my goals from 2016 to move abroad for a year and I accomplished it and it's just amazing. The third thing I wanted to mention is the fact that I went away on several weekends with my friends and it was the first year I really got to do that, especially due to the fact that I got my driving license, so it was amazing. Um, next thing I wanted to mention is a bookish related thing and it's the fact that I got to read uh, advanced reader copies for my blog and it's something I never expected to do and I just gave it a try on that gallery and got to read more and more art copies and it's really amazing. Uh, the next thing on my list is that I saw some 41 live. It was one of the bands I really wanted to see live and uh, when they came to Paris last year my friend was like oh we need to get tickets and we spent like a whole evening looking for tickets everywhere because they were almost sold out and we got tickets and we got to see them and it was so amazing. The next thing is another bookish related thing and it's the fact that I got to meet James Tashner and Michael Cunningham uh, last year. I got them to sign my books. I don't have the maze runner here but I have Michael Cunningham's last book and it's just signed, it just makes me so happy. I haven't read it yet but I want to read it this year and I'm just so happy that I got to meet him. It was so nice and interesting and it's really amazing. The next thing on my list is related to the fact that I moved to Berlin and it's that I met so many, many amazing people here and it just makes me so happy. Next thing else on my list is the fact that I started a YouTube channel. It's something I had in my mind for a while and I just couldn't get to actually do it and in July I eventually did it as you could see and I don't know I didn't think I would keep on until now and it just also makes me really happy. The next thing on my list is also related to some of the things I mentioned before and it's the fact that I got to travel more. It's, it makes me really happy because I love traveling and going to new places and it's also related to the next item on my list which is that I got to visit Prague which is a city that had been a place I wanted to visit for a while and I went there with some friends in November and it was so beautiful and I'm so glad I went there. Uh, the next thing on my list is the fact that I got to spend more time with both my grandmothers and it's really important for me because just important and I got to spend some time alone with them and it meant a lot to me. Next thing on my list is also family related and it's the fact that I, I don't know, I feel like I got to grow closer to my brothers and my cousins and it just makes me really happy. Uh, next thing on my list is really personal but it's the fact that I started accepting myself more. I mean, I'm shy and a bit of an introvert and I'm a nerd and I love books and all of the things are important to me and it's what defines me and I just got to accept it more and be like yeah this is me and I'm happy with it and if you want to go out tonight and I don't because I want to read a book or finish a TV show or binge watch movies or whatever I'm just gonna do it because that's what I like. Anyway the next thing on my list is that I also made plans for the future I mean I'm trying to be positive and keep ideas for the future and it's not easy because basically I'm studying literature and everyone assumes that I want to be a professor and I don't so it's not easy every day and I'm just trying to make plans for the future because it's important. The next thing on my list is that I got fashion 
master's degree in English and foreign language and another one in literature which was, uh, I mean, it was not hard to get there and I did it and I got the degrees and I'm just so happy with myself and I'm a master's student in literature and it's just so interesting, it really isn't easy every day. Next thing I got is also diploma related. I got a diploma in childcare and uh, right after I got it I was so happy and I discovered, I mean, I realized that it wasn't something I wanted to do with my life so I just have this diploma I'm probably not going to use it but I'm still proud that I got through the end of the program. The next thing on my list is also related to this childcare thing is like I got a job, I was so proud of myself and I quit after two days and I'm just proud that I realized that this was not the thing for me and I decided to take care of myself and just quit because that was the right thing to do and I definitely still believe that it was the right thing to do and yeah I really think like it's not a positive thing but it just personally it was positive for me I don't know uh, I have a few more things also internet related because I spent so much time there and it's the fact that I opened an Etsy shop and I even managed to make one sale I will link the shop in the description because you should definitely check it out if you like finding stuff and just please check it out. <laughs>